chicken. Like I mentioned in the recipe, it's best to use mini chicken or like a hen, a corn fed hen that's smaller in size, otherwise it's not going to fit into your pan. And then you just want to kind of cut across the rib cage and this knife wasn't the best so you can use just a sharp knife and cut it in half just going around along the rib cage there and then once you've cut it in half you just want to move this sides apart and if you've got any sort of things in there that you need to clean out you can this chicken is already all cleaned out for me but if you had things like liver or any other guts then you might want to take them out so you want to just get rid of any excess fat and then we're going to turn the chicken around sort of move the wings and kind of press with your palm to squeeze it essentially what we want to do we want to make sure the chicken is nice and even so with a lot of love i'm going to try and um sort of um beat it a little bit <laughs> nice and gently uh, just to kind of break the bones and make sure it's nice and flat um, so I'm using rolling pin, but if you've got a meat beater, then um, that's probably best. So cover it in cling film and give it a few good hits to make sure it's nice and flat and even on all the sides. Then you're going to add all your spices. Um, I've got a mix here of salt, pepper, paprika. Um, you can add any other spices that you really like. These are the ones that I usually use and I love them. <laughs> Then you're going to add oil and butter into your deep pan. So you need to use a really, really, really old sort of fashioned uh, kazan, which is like a very old heated pan. That's why all the food tastes is so delicious. But if you don't have one, make sure you use a really deep sort of um, pan like that. And we're going to add more seasoning in the back. So I'm using more paprika, a bit of salt and pepper on top as well. So the heat needs to be sort of medium high um, because you're going to be cooking it for quite a long time. You don't want it to be very, very strong heat. And to add the weight, I'm going to add a whole plate there, squash it, and then I'm adding my weight with my two liter pot. So I've cooked this for about 15 minutes. You can leave it even for longer if you wanted to. And now we're just going to turn this around. I'm just going to show you. Be really careful because it's really hot. So you want to fry this for about 15 to 20 minutes on each side. And for a small chicken, uh, that should be cooked fully, especially if it's pressed as well. So when you flip it around very, very gently, look at that beautiful golden skin. It smells amazing already. You just want to do the same thing. You want to put the plate on top, squash it nice and deep, and then add the weight as well. It's really important to add the weight. While this is all cooking, we're going to make our sauce. So we're going to add some coriander and garlic with water in a pan. And I'm just going to cook this on the stove for 5 to 10 minutes just to get out all the flavor with the garlic. And trust me, it's so good with this sauce. I know it's very simple and basic, but it just adds that extra something special in there. You can obviously season this with salt and pepper if you wanted to. But it depends how salty your chicken is. When the chicken is done, remove your weight and you can flip it around one more time if you want to. But look how beautiful and golden it is on this side. And now that your chicken is done, it's time to eat it and serve it. Um, if you're not sure if it's cooked, you can always just use a knife, pierce it through. And if there is no liquid coming out uh, with redness, that means chicken is done. And in fact, this chicken is so soft, it's almost like falling apart. Um, serve it on a big plate or a board for a whole family to enjoy and there you go guys just before as well you might want to add a bit of sauce so add your garlic and coriander with your water into your chicken jus so this is the mixture where your chicken with all the spices was cooking with paprika and everything and you just want to cook this for about five minutes and then there's our sauce that you can serve all over the chicken. It's so delicious, guys. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, the sauce really adds that extra flavor that, you know, just adds something special to this chicken even more. 
So cover the chicken in sauce and then slice it up, serve it and of course add more sauce onto each plate. The chicken is so soft, it literally falls off the bones and super juicy, very kind of crispy on top and very delicious. Uh, definitely one of my favorite meals and if you love chicken you this will be your favorite for sure and yeah I hope you enjoy it guys thank you so much and I can't wait to see your chicken dishes again for any requests do leave them down below and let me know what you want me to make again mm -hmm.